Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to convert each worksheet from an Excel document into its own CSV file. Before we get started, remember to like and subscribe for more Cloudmersive tutorials in Power Automate. To begin, we will click Create, and then we will select the option to create a manually triggered instant cloud flow so we can have full control over our data. In our first step, we will get our Excel content from our file system using a get file content action. The example spreadsheet I'll be using in this flow has two worksheets, named Worksheet 1 and Worksheet 2, with some example datasets in each. In our next step, we will open a new action and search for Cloudmersive connectors. We will scroll down from here to find the Cloudmersive document conversion connector with the green logo. When we click See More, we will view the Actions list, and from here we can search for an action called Split a Single Excel into Separate Worksheets. When we find it, we can select it, and at this point we will need to configure our connection if we haven't done that already. Please note we will need a premium Power Automate plan to use Cloudmersive connectors, but we can use Cloudmersive connectors at no additional cost with a free API key. Free API keys allow a limit of 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments, and we can get one by creating a free account on the Cloudmersive website. To configure our split worksheet request, we will first add file bytes to this action from our previous step, and we will then provide a file name in the second field. We don't need our file's real name for this action to work correctly. In our next step, we will add a new action, and we will head back to the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector Actions list. This time, we will look for the Convert Excel Spreadsheet to CSV option, which we will find not too far down this list. We will open this action to begin configuring it, and we will then add file bytes from our split worksheet action into our input file field. We will then give our file a random name like we did in the previous action. If we want, we can set the text encoding for our resulting CSV files using an advanced parameter. The default is UTF-8. Power Automate will automatically wrap this action in a for each control to carry out our conversion for multiple worksheet inputs. Within the for each control, we can add a final action to create our CSV files. When we name our CSV files, we can retain our original worksheet names for each file we create by selecting the appropriate dynamic content from our split worksheet action. We can then select CSV file bytes for each new file using output from our Excel to CSV conversion action. Now we can go ahead and save and test our flow. When our flow finishes running, we will end up with one new CSV file for each worksheet from our original Excel document. That concludes this demonstration. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to a member of our team.